What's going on everyone? Welcome to the Warehouse Series. If you're new to the channel, I welcome you. So the one thing I do want to say is the last picture I'm going to be showing on this video is uh, someone that over in Discord, they said, I appreciate you guys. If it wasn't for all you, then I would not be doing these uh, type of pallets and I would not be at my job anymore. So I appreciate that. And that shows the benefits of being on this channel and being in Discord. Uh, so, you know, if you're new and you're struggling, uh, you're at the right place. And if you're an experienced person, you could always learn something new or, you know, and come over and help other people over in Discord. That'll be great. Uh, so today I'm talking about tying in cases. I think we get way too carried away with the mindset that we have to tie in every single layer. And I'm going to go over some pictures of what I'm talking about. So let's get to it. All right, guys, in this first picture right here, I want you to focus on the Gatorade in the middle. Uh, so basically, we got two size Gatorades going on right here. The two that my uh, dots with the arrows are pointing to. There are two different sizes. One's a little taller and the other one's fatter. You know, uh, the Gatorade down below are a 10 block. The ones that you have right on top of your Arizona tee. Uh, I like the fact that you got them pointing in. I cannot stand 10 block in these Gatorades because they are too wide. They go way too wide, especially when you are up a certain amount of layers and your palate's already starting to come in a little bit. Your palate will naturally start coming in uh, when you're building with bottles. And to put a 10 block Gatorade, you know, this high up, I, I disagree with it. I, I, I eight block these. So picture my fingers, I go three this way, I face two in, and then I go three like that on the bottom part. I hope that makes sense, but I like eight block in my Gatorade. But what I would have done here is because we got some gaps going up the middle of your palate. Uh, what I would have done here is I would have moved the two taller Gatorades, even if you threw them first. I would have tossed them to the side real quick and dropped my two dots down and had all three going back to tie in that layer better. Uh, remember, the lower we get that palette nice and sturdy, that base, uh, we don't want gaps and then having a solid base or having solid up here again. We want a nice solid base, at least around stomach waist high. Uh, that way we could build a little bit better or a little bit looser, I should say, on top of that base. But your your base, the first two layers are great. And then after that, we get a little bit uh, shaky with our base. So let's take a look at the next picture. It's the same uh, palette that we're looking at. But I want to show you, my white line is showing you where we should have a nice solid base at, especially with this type of product. And once we establish that base where the white line is, I like pointing cases inwards and my center red column is what I say all the time. Cases pointing in, smaller cases pointing back and don't be afraid to keep going up like that. All right, so let's look at the next picture and I'm gonna show you what you're doing wrong. All right, so once again, same palette. Let's look at these white and red arrows all the way up. Look what you do every single layer and I notice it on your corners. I notice it on your other palettes that you do too. What are you doing? You got a case this way, you got it in your head. I got to go this way, and then I got to go this way, and then I got to go this way, and then I got to go this way. You do not have to do that, all right? This is not tying in. This is building a tower that's going to fall over, I'm telling you right now. You might be tying in your corner, but it's, look at it. I mean, it's straight up, and it's a corner that could easily rock over and fall over. So establish that base and then start focusing on putting cases inwards. Uh, we got to get out of our head that we have to do this every single layer. Uh, you're allowed to uh, column stack once you get a, a nice solid base going. Uh, next picture right here. I don't know if this is the way the picture's been taken, but man, does it really look like you flare out towards the top. Uh, the only thing I could think is, is uh, the, the cases uh, above your moths, you have four cases going across. If I'm not mistaken, those are a 10 block. I could be wrong on that. Uh, but I think four across is not the way they come on the palette. I could be wrong. But once again, remember what I said is once you build up a palette, you tend to uh, naturally start getting more narrow. So if it is a uh, block like this, then change it up. If it's getting too wide, then just change up the block and make it so it stays uh, nice and square and you're not getting too flared out. But once again, it could be the way you took the picture. All right. And so in this picture right here, all right, so... This is another part of tying in that we really get lost on for some reason. Uh, so even though these cases are going the same direction row by row, uh, we have a habit of taking a high case and a low case and setting a case right in between because we're trying to tie this case into this case. All right, so we've got a high and a low and then we put a case in and it's leaning just like you got these two cases right here in the middle of your palette. Don't do that. 
all right? I'd rather have a flat case than a leaning case. So if I got a case like this and a case like this, I'm taking my next case and I'm putting it here or I'm putting it here. I am not sticking it in between. I will tie in at a later time when I get level again. You've got lots of cases coming up in the warehouse. It's your job to get this to be like this, okay? And then you could tie that in. Uh, so you did it in this picture and this, uh, like I said, I don't know if this is the same person, but you did it here. This person here had that concept, had that mindset that I got to change the block. I got what? Three layers going this way. I have to, I got to, I got to change it. I got to change it. But look what you did. So you went from a high applesauce down to this lower one or not applesauce, but, uh, apple juice and look at your Gatorade leaning. And then the other case looks like it's leaning too. Your whole back of your palate is like this. It's nice. You did a nice job building it, but that one case, that's all it takes. That's all it takes is one case to screw up your whole palate. And usually it's in the middle. It's when we have these cases in the middle like this that screw us up. So yeah, it's it, it just uh, didn't work out real well. The whole back of your palate is leaning and there's a possibility that this may fall before it gets to the store or even take it off the truck once it gets to the store. Remember, this got to ride on a truck for an hour, maybe even two hours, and then they got to pull it off with a hand jack. And it's a possibility that this corner may rock back and fall. I would have went the same direction. I would have did layer number four going the same direction, wrap it if I have to, but I would have not and went from too, uh, a high to a low like that. All right. so. The next thing I'm gonna show you, uh, real quick, I just wanna look at this one. Uh, the palette that I wanna talk about is your front palette, but I noticed your back palette here, so I took a picture of it real quick. Nice job. This is what exactly what I talk about. We got all like cases together. We got our Fiji's on the inside. They're not on the corner, so they're not gonna go sliding off and, and shifting our corner out. We got light cases, high inside, low inside, that small case in the middle of the palette. Perfect. Now let's get to the uh, front part of this palette, or this order. Once again, you did a nice job. Nice job spacing everything out. That far row over there, I like how you evenly space things out. You didn't leave a huge gap anywhere. It's okay. This is what people don't get. Those gaps are okay, all right? <laughs> it's okay to have a gap. Let's just evenly space them out so we don't have a real big gap. Uh, and once again, you got your Fiji inside of that. Now, that red arrow is pointing to a corner of your palette over there. Uh, keep an eye on that because your next layer, I do not like what you did. All right, so once again, here's your next layer. I got my red arrow over there. I'll be talking about that in a second. Uh, we got that mindset again. Uh, yeah, you had 12, you had a full layer, uh, but we do not have a level playing field underneath this full layer. So now we got that water again. We got a water facing in. It almost looks like your middle water is facing in. We are not level. We are creating a problem in the uh, middle of this. So where my red arrow is at, I would have took all 12 of these waters and I would have uh, did a three block in the corner of my palette. I would have did four, four, and four. I would have three blocked it. You could probably have fit them uh, two this way and that. And now I have a new high. I told you I always like making new highs on my palette and then it gives me the incentive to get the rest of that palette to level that high. Get a high corner, a high, whatever, and then everything else equals that high. I would have put all these in the corner. I would not have leveled them out like this because I do not have a level layer. All right, and uh, this picture here, I just threw this on here because I like what you did. Uh, this is what I talk about. We have one case missing from a full uh, layer, so we leave the gap in the middle. That way we can throw little cases in there, and it doesn't matter if we have a low inside. Uh, nice, nice base. I, I like how you kept the gap in the middle. All right, once again, uh, on this picture right here, uh, not a bad palette, very nicely done. I like uh, a lot of things you did here, uh, but those two arrows, I just would have pointed those cases in also. Like I said, it's not, I, I, I just don't like the gaps down there with the tidy cat there because like I said, even though you have weight on that uh, fresh step or whatever that is, those slide, they tend to move. If there's any shift in the pallet on the truck on the way to the store, that is gonna be the first case that moves. That is the first case that slides. So I like keeping cases snug up against there if I possibly can. Uh, not a bad pallet. I might be nitpicking on this one, but I would have turned those two cases inwards. Uh, like I said, guys, do not be afraid to keep 
cases, uh, every layer turning inwards. It's whenever you have all your cases going the opposite direction. Uh, like your, where my uh, arrows are at those cases, picture just going straight up. That's how people build and we need to get away from that. So that's the last picture I want to show you on that. This is the picture I was talking about. This is a big order, a lot of pieces on here, very nicely stacked pallets. This is the person that said, thank you, Discord. Uh, you know, I could not do this without you. So very well appreciated. Everybody that helps out in Discord, you know, look at the work and I appreciate everybody over there uh, that helps everyone out. So like I said, very, very, very beneficial. If you're a new selector uh, or if you have not even started in the warehouse yet, then you get ahead of the game. Uh, I hope you stumble upon this channel and I, I hope that you uh, start watching my videos and come over to Discord and uh, let people help you out. So that's it for today, guys. Uh, you know, like I said, join Discord, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.